in the previous three lectures we have completed everything required in even and odd signals and by using those concepts we will solve one problem in this lecture in this problem we need to find the even and odd components of signal xt where xt is equal to cos t plus sin t plus cos t sin t now there are two ways to solve this problem in the first method in the first method we will perform the time reversal or folding and in the second method in the second method we will use the properties of even and odd signals method number 1 is for your university exam whenever you appear in your semester exam you have to use method number 1 method number 2 is a shortcut method and this shortcut method will depend on the properties we have learned in the last lecture and this method is for competitive exam whenever you appear in exams like gate ies etc then you have to use method number 2 so let's begin with method number 1 signal xt is equal to cos t plus sin t plus cos t sin t we will perform the folding and we already know in folding time t is replaced by minus t so we have x of minus t which is equal to cos minus t plus sin minus t plus cos minus t sin minus t and we already know we already know cos minus theta is equal to cos theta and sin minus theta sin minus theta is equal to minus sin theta now by using this we will find out x minus t x minus t it is equal to cos t cos t minus sin t minus cos t sin t now we will compare this with the given function or given signal in the problem cos t after time reversal is equal to cos t and let's say let's say cos t is x1 t so x1 t is equal to x1 minus t and this is the property of even signal so the even component the even component x e t will have cos t and let's say sin t is x 2 t and in place of sin t after time reversal we have minus sin t this means x 2 t is equal to minus x 2 minus t and this is the property of odd signal so odd component x o t will have minus sin t in it now we will check what type of component cos t sin t is here we have plus cos t sin t and after time reversal we have minus cos t sin t so cos t sin t is also the odd component so the odd component will have sin t plus cos t sin t so in this way you can find the even component of signal xt and the odd component of signal xt you can also use the formula for odd and even components let's try to solve this problem using the formula the even component is equal to 1 by 2 inside the bracket xt plus x minus t now we will put xt and x minus t in this formula to find out even component so we have 1 by 2 xt is equal to cos t plus sin t plus cos t sin t and x minus t is equal to cos t minus sin t minus cos t sin t minus sin t and plus sin t will cancel out cos t sin t minus cos t sin t will cancel out so finally we have twice of cos t divided by 2 which is equal to cos t so you can see the even component which we are having by using this formula is similar to what we have obtained here in the same way you can find out the odd component x o t the formula is 1 by 2 inside the bracket x t minus x minus t when you put x t and x minus t in this formula you will have sin t sin t plus cos t sin t so this is all for method number one now we will discuss the second method and this method is for competitive exams 
and in this method we will use the properties of even and odd signals we already know cos t is an even signal and sin t sin t is an odd signal and when we multiply cos t and sin t this means when we multiply even signal with an odd signal we will have the odd signal this is the property of even and odd signals so we can clearly see cos t is the even component sin t is an odd component and when we multiply cos t cos t with sin t it will be odd component so the even component is simply equal to cos t and the odd component will have sin t and cos t in it so you can compare the two methods by using the second method we have solution in just two steps and in method number one you have to perform the time reversal after which you have to use the formula the formula for even component and the formula for odd component to obtain the answer so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section in the next lecture we will solve another problem based on even and odd components and the problem will be complicated as compared to this one so this is all see you in the next one